So in today's video, we are going to be speaking about the absolute abomination Bradford City tweeted about at 9 o'clock this morning. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and 80 likes on today's video, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers. So please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts on the club's new badge down in the comment section down below. If you haven't already seen Bradford City, have put some information out today around the Bradford City crest, the club badge, and it's going to be changing ahead of the start of next season. And it's certainly not gone down well with the fan base. I think this is one of the not very great things that we've done over the last couple of years. You know, this season we seem to be going a little bit backwards, I would say, off the field. You know, last season we were doing so well off the field and very poorly on the field. This season we're doing very well on the field, but with the, being able to buy loyalty points, 100 loyalty points for £35, pound, whatever it was, now this absolute abomination of a club badge, it's it's not great, is it? Anyway, make sure you drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new as well. I have no idea if this video is going to be five minutes or if it's going to be five hours. It could be as long as possible, but let's get straight into it. So I hope I am big enough at down in the corner, but Bradford City tweeted this at nine o'clock this morning. It's almost two and a half minutes, so we're not going to watch all of it, but it's pretty much an announcement video around the new badge. We'll have a look at the in-depth of the actual badge, the article that have done some of the concept kits with the badge on, and yeah, it's certainly interesting to say the least. Now, obviously, the current Bradford Bradford City badge is a badge that's always been the Bradford City badge in my lifetime and that's all I ever really remember you know it's, this has been the, the club's badge I think from 1991 so it's been around for a hell of a long time is that 31 years something like that but Bradford City tweeted saying same city new bantam we are excited to propose our new visual identity reimagined on the back of our your city your say project set to take effect on the 1st of July 2023 on the 120th anniversary now I remember something getting said around the the survey that they were doing towards I think it was maybe December Christmas time maybe uh, at the end of last season and they've decided that a new badge is the way forward I think I saw somewhere around 5,000 people took the survey I remember something about the survey being said but I don't really remember actually doing one to be honest with you but the reaction tweet has 236 likes, 136 quote tweets, 21 retweets, and nearly 300 replies. Now, this video does go on for quite a long time. You know, it does take quite a while for you to actually see what the badge is, but here you can see them going into it in a little bit more detail, and you can, it, it looks like it's been made, how it's been made on screen here. It looks like it's genuinely been made in about 10 minutes, put together, and it just, right, hold on, we'll pause this. This is what it looks like. If you've not already seen, this is what the badge looks like, or the new proposed badge. It's not 1 million percent guaranteed that this will be the badge, but this is one that they're currently proposing towards us. This is them building it and all that sort of stuff. Now, this one that they've designed here is absolutely hideous. Am I against a new badge? No. I think you, sometimes you do have to modernise things, you know, from 1991. That is a long time, as I did say, but I don't think this is it. I, I, I just... I don't think this is the answer to creating a new badge. And I know a lot of people would disagree with that. Uh, not disagree with that, would disagree with this badge being the one to go forward. Uh, it's just not... It, it just doesn't look like a football badge. It looks like something you'd see in the MLS or... It looks like something you'd see maybe made on pro clubs. I think the BCAFC looks a bit tacky, to be honest with you. Like, it just looks a bit all over the place. It does look odd not seeing something around here with a star above it, but I'm not totally against not having something here. I just think the star looks completely out of place with it not really being involved with the badge. I think the Bantam just looks a bit odd. I don't really get what they've tried to do there, to be honest with you. I mean, it just doesn't really look like a Bradford City badge. It genuinely looks like something you would see, like I said, in pro clubs or somewhere in the MLS. It doesn't look like an English Football League badge. Now, the article the club have put out is a little bit of a long one, but we will give it a quick read. Same City, New Bantam, Bradford City, AFC is excited to propose the club's new identity following the Your City, Your Say project, which has been consulting with supporters over the past 12 months about the club's brand and how they would like to see it reimagined for the future. Starting in November 2021, the Your, Say, Your, Your City, Your Say survey was open for seven weeks and represented the first milestone in consultations with supporters, with close to 5,000 responding to give their thoughts on all things Bradford City. From there, further consultations with fans who uh, participated in the surveys and club supporters groups. I know 
a lot of the fan base aren't the biggest fan of the the main supporters board and all that sort of stuff with the club. But talks have been held by the club's senior management to gain further guidance and present an opportunity for the fan base to shape the future identity of the club. Chief Executive Officer Ryan Sparks said this is arguably one of the biggest projects in the past 30 years, so it's extremely important to make sure everyone has a chance to have their say, but also ensure the new identity is right for Bradford City AFC and can prove a strong part of the club's image for years to come. And I get that, obviously, when you're changing something as big as a club badge, to an outsider who doesn't really know about football, you probably think a, a, a badge, who really cares? But for a fan of a club, and it's all you've really known, or all I've known for my lifetime, and anyone who's under the age of 30, will, all they will have known for their lifetime, changing something like a club badge, you're never going to get every single person who's going to be on board with it. You know, It's simply impossible to please everyone when you've got a fan base as big as Bradford City's. But with how it's gone down on social media... I, I, I've seen maybe 10 positive messages about it and probably close to 500 negative. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating slightly, but it's something similar in terms of that sort of ratio. Sparks continues to say, at the start of this project, we said we would always be Claret and Amber, which is obviously something that they have tried to maintain. We would always be the Bantams and we would always be Bradford City AFC, which I'm obviously very glad to see that they've kept that the same. Those things will never change. We also said we wanted to run this project hand-in-hand -hand with our loyal supporters and we're delighted to see so many people respond to the survey to give their views and also come forward and engage with listening sessions and workshops to give their important opinions on how our club's identity should evolve. Now, it's great to see the club obviously getting fans involved and all that sort of stuff because if they just went completely and did their own thing, then that it would have gone down even worse. But the fact that it's been consulted by a lot of the fans, and I know they won't have had a final say in the design or whatever, but this badge has been passed off by so many people and this is the best that they could have come up with yeah, it's, it's not great, is it? Anyway, we believe we have done everything we possibly can to put the power of this change into the hand of those supporters. So, you know, like I said, fair play for that. But as we strive to be the best on the pitch, which we clearly have been up better this season on the pitch than what we have over the last couple of years. You know, we're currently fourth in the table. We also aspire to be the best off the pitch. We feel this evolution of our identity can help us further compete in a digital first world, which also improves the market marketability, marketability and commercial attractiveness to our football club. We believe our new design encapsulates everything Bradford City and the people of the district of Bradford uh, and the people of the district of Bradford stands for. Isn't that meant to be? And what the people? Anyway, it represents the unique, hard-working, collective, tough and competitive nature of our city. Does it? Does, does this? But do you look at this badge and you think, yep, the people of those city work hard? I wouldn't say so. We are constantly trying to take the club forward, enhancing and improving the organisation. We believe this piece of work is a large part in modernising the club and helping it stride forward on the path to achieving our goals. Now, like I said, I'm not against a new badge, a new modernised badge, because I understand with the times you've got to modernise things and all that sort of stuff, but this certainly is not the answer. You can see the re full results of our survey and feedback here. I didn't actually see this earlier, so we'll give this a little click and... Oh, it's, it just takes you back to the video. Now, there is a take this survey option here. It doesn't come out until 5 o'clock, obviously. This video will be coming out at 4 o'clock, so I won't be able to participate in that. I feel like they've put it at 5 o'clock rather than 9 o'clock, because if they put the survey out at 9 o'clock, there would have been a lot of people obviously unhappy with the design of the badge, but the fact they've put it at nine, uh, 5 o'clock, it allows fans to not be so reactive in their response and not be so negative around it because it gives the opportunity, you know, it's a lot of hours, is that was like eight hours for people to grow with the badge and, you know, it might build on them somewhat. Anyway, Luke Flax, Director of Brand Marketing and Media added, from the 2021 survey and the extensive listening sessions we held with supporters, we could immediately see there is an appetite for this evolution. While some supporters were understandably nervous about the project, we wanted to reassure them the fundamentals of our football club will never change and that we were determined to use our past as inspiration for our future identity. Now, from what I saw, the vast majority of people on social media said they didn't want the, ba the badge to be touched at all. The a lot of people said they wanted it to be left the same. So it is interesting that they've decided to make a new badge. And I saw one of the stats be like the majority of people actually wanted a new badge 
to be a thing. That doesn't really make sense, but you get what I'm trying to say. And from what I saw on social media, it certainly didn't seem that way. So a little bit of an interesting one there. There are a lot of intentional similarities between the club's past identities and this new design. Through support feedback over the past 12 months, we could see the common denominators were the importance of our bantam, our distinctive shield shape, and our unique claret and amber colours, all of which take pride in the new design. Now, it is obviously great to see it's not just a circle with a bantam in the middle of it and it says Bradford City 1903 because every other club's badge looks like that so I'm glad to see that it's got a, even a, a little bit of design with us keeping the same shield shape draped in claret and amber the club's iconic shield has been whatever that word says there geometrically refined and now houses the core parts of the club's identity the adaptation of the shield and the movement of the elements within it now gives the identity a stronger and more prominent look which helps it stand up against rival crests in club marketing and community communications. These things consistently prove a challenge with the layout of the club's current crest. Bradford City AFC is who we are. It is important to keep the BCAFC lettering in the identity and this separates us from the likes of Bristol City and Birmingham City, or obviously BCFC. Again, in a digital world where the likes of hashtags are so widely used across social media, this is another unique denominator of our club and one we want to continually own and embrace. We know when our football club does well, the whole of Bradford the whole Bradford district thrives and benefits from it greatly. The structure of the BCAFC world mark symbolises this within the football club acting as a podium for the city, lifting it up and giving it a base to thrive and be seen with the shape of the bespoke typeface again taking inspiration from previous identities. Finally, the new and improved Bantam stands centre stage. A stronger, more powerful bird rep uh, replaces the former club icon and now faces looking forward rather than backwards. Um, I saw some people complaining about that, that the, it now looks right rather than most of the time, or I think all the time previously it has looked left, but that's actually quite a good point that it is now looking forward, which I actually quite like that to be honest with you. It's one of the few things that I like about this badge. It's in a confident stance with its foot raised, focused, ready to compete and represent. It symbolises everything a Bradford City supporter wants from their team on the pitch. We believe we have done all we can to to collect supporters' views and creatively reimagine the club's identity so that it's not only a strong representation of Bradford City, but will also work in a modern world with the versatility to adapt over years to come. Uh, Bradford City AFC is now inviting supporters' feedback of the new design. You'll be able to check it out from 5pm and all that sort of stuff. Now, I know we've gone on a little bit there reading the club article, so I won't bore you all too much law. I'm not going to waste any more of your time, but these are some concept kits that have been posted on social media with the new badge. I, I, I don't mind the home kit, I don't mind the away kit, but I feel like you're constantly having to change the colour of the badge to fit the colour of the kit, whereas the badge we've obviously currently got, it got, it constantly stays the same no matter what the kit is, apart from I believe actually on the third kit this season, it's all yellow, which I think that might be, they might have been trialling that to see how it would look potentially with the new badge. I didn't actually think about that until now. But they've been trying to promote it pretty much all day and it's getting a lot of the same replies of fans unhappy and all that sort of stuff. This was a concept done by another fan as well and this looks 300 times better than the current one. I'm not a fan of this with the massive B, then a smaller C and then a smaller AFC. I like how the star has been incorporated into the bantam to be honest with you i like having the 1903 on there i like having the white i feel like you need to have some white or black on there just to give it a little bit of a bounce it's not all in your face i would have liked to see maybe claret and amber stripes but how would that really work if you've got the bantam in there obviously that is just a concept design from another fan this is the one that bradford city are putting forward but as you can see a lot of people certainly not on board with the new badge some people say that if that stays they're not buying next year's kit they want the tweet to be deleted that one was something that i saw quite a lot it also did get compared to the league united badge from a few years ago when that quickly got shipped out i can't see this this badge staying to be honest with you a lot of people as you can see here i'm not going to read a lot of it out because the video will get demonetized but a lot of people certainly not happy i presume this is a joke saying boycott games about it because it's certainly not that bad but it's not for me personally i don't really like it and I'll be interested to see whether they stick with the current badge, whether they try and redesign something else but they can't just constantly be putting out new badges because 
what if all of them are awful and they all don't go down well and we're on badge eight or nine and we've still not sorted a, a proper badge out i can't see this badge staying let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below because that is where i'm going to leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 80 likes as i said at the start of today's video that would be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out as i said get your thoughts on this new proposed badge that bradford city have put forward for the start of the next season thank you very much for watching today's video shout out to our current tier 3 channel member b davies 211 make sure to go check out my harriga not my harriga my leicester city's under 21's match day vlog if you haven't already as well but as i said thank you for watching have a good rest of your day and i shall see you all tomorrow for the stockport county match preview peace